Hello, Nomads Cult, and this video is about such a gobo light. It's a silhouette shadow. So, okay. So this is the shadow. <laughs> so sorry. Um, I have to change my background. Um, I want it a little bit lighter. So. Here in the hierarchy, um, you see here, there's a light. So, this one. And here, you see here the green dot and you can control the shadow with the light. So, like this here, yeah. You can cast um, such, yeah, here's such a tree shadow or maybe foliage or, um, yeah, every kind of shadow you want to project on a on an object. So maybe I add now a, a sphere here and you see here the, the shadow is projected also on the sphere. So, okay. And how does it work? So I delete yeah, the sphere and, and also this one, delete. So we need a, a light and um, here are the lights. Add a light and sorry, I go step back and I check my settings at on gizmo off add a light okay and you see here the directions uh, at the moment of the light here uh, this is the green direction and this here is um, the spot where the light points to so and the gizmo is active at the moment this is important you need the gizmo and then here when you press add here you see a on gizmo option. So press this checkbox here and then add a plane. So now the plane is a little bit off because it's in the direction of the green um, axis here. So we have to use here the snap option and rotate the whole thing like this. Because the light casts the shadow, so I, I turn on the light. You see here, the light uses this green dot for this. So we need the plane in the green in the green dot direction. Now, I hope it's clear what I mean. So, and then the next thing is here in the hierarchy. Uh, you have to. Um, bring the plane as a child under the light here. So then the, um, then they are linked together. So now when I select the light here and I control it with a, with a green dot here. So you see here the, yeah, the plane rotates with the direction of the light. Okay. So the next thing is we need a shadow object, uh, a shadow silhouette. So I choose here this one and I download this here. So you press on the image and save to the camera or create your own. So, and then here the plane. So I press here validate and I use now the mask and this is only to get the image. So you see here, this is a black um, palm on a white background, but we need a white palm on a black background. <laughs> okay, so, 
So you see here this image. And so uh, for demonstration, I delete this one. Yes, delete. So I import the, the image here, this one. And so now white background, black palm, but you can here invert the, the pixels. So you can do it also in a painting app. So invert this. So we need this here white on a black background. And then here we place on the opacity slot of the textures of the plane. this image here so we have to find it and I think this is this one so now you see here the palm so when you select now the light you can control the shadow of the palm so where it should cast the shadow And the last step is, so we won't see this object. This is not nice if you see always this palm here. So you have to select here the, the object where the, the texture of the palm is. And you have to change here the material to shadow catcher. So now everything is gone. <laughs> So uh, you have to change here the settings here for the cast shadows. So it should cast shadows. Yes. So now your shadow is here. But so at the moment there's no problem. But uh, receive shadows, uh, turn it to off. So now you can control. So when you select the light you have a nice shadow and so with a with a gizmo you can scale the the shadow and yeah this okay the, the distance have no effect on this so only the scaling okay <coughs> good that's it um yeah have fun with sculpting. Ciao. Oh, I think sorry. I think uh, it's I think it's also possible to change the no the color. I'm not sure. Uh, maybe other tutorial. Okay. Ciao.